gonna come with me down there. No, she's fine. I just didn't want her to miss it because she's gonna be coming out in about 20 seconds. Oh, okay. 20 seconds. I've got this time pretty good. I know, you do. You're brilliant. Down to the last minute. That's brilliant. This is how the court is going to start my day today. Hope everyone has a great day. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. We gather as a community of family and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Richard and Tracy. God has created a world of harmony. Soaring birds, towering trees, brisk wind, animals of all kinds, each unique, each in relationship and harmony with the others. God's first gift was breathing life into humans and turning us toward each other to live in equality and unity. Richard and Tracy have come here to affirm their love for each other and enter into this sacred union. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and are responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servanthood. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering. Marriage is not an event but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilling. Today, Richard and Tracy, you come together bringing all of you to this marriage, all of your wonderful parts, all of your hurts and pains. You especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. You both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future to the other's care. You have excellent reasons for believing you belong together, but you have no guarantees. Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating the future together. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. You marry in faith that God has called you to live as one. You promise to be faithful to one another in big things as well as small. Your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to the beautiful hopes you have for your future. Faith is the conviction of things not seen. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today. You may not feel much evidence of the love you now feel so keenly. At such a time, remember this moment. Remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will, before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithful to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. Faithfulness is built from 10,000 minute acts of trust and trustworthiness. In such faith, you'll find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. May God bless you both. Amen. Richard and Tracy have come here freely without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage. If so, say, I have. Before God and family and friends, I ask you to affirm your vows to each other as you enter into this covenant of marriage and begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Richard, you take Tracy to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live? And Tracy, do you take Richard to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, 
comfort him, honor and keep him, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him, for as long as you both shall live. They have the rings? These rings are an outward and visible sign of invisible truth, which binds two hearts in one. As such, they are the symbols of the enduring and unending quality of the love which is now expressed between Richard and Tracy. Richard, repeat after me. Tracy, this ring is a sign of my love and faithfulness. Tracy, repeat after me. Richard, this ring is a sign of my love and faithfulness. Please join me for a prayer blessing over their marriage. God in heaven, you ordained marriage for your children and you gave us love. We present to you Richard and Tracy, who come this day to be married. May the covenant of love they made be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. We thank you for giving them strength and courage to keep their vows. Thank you for helping them to create for their family a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can build their lives. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give moral strength. When there is misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness. When suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them a strong faith and abiding love. Amen. Amen. Richard and Tracy, when the future happy occasions will come as surely as the morning, difficult times will come as surely as the night. We say the words love and compassion is easy, but to accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not easy. Richard and Tracy, as much as you've declared your willingness to enter the state of marriage with each other, declare the same in the company of God and these witnesses. By the virtue of authority vested me as an ordained minister by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife, uniting the pure and holy bonds of wedlock. What God has joined, let no one separate. Go forth in this life as husband and wife with the blessing of God. Be loving, patient, and kind. And above all, forgive one another as God has forgiven you. It's my pleasure to introduce to you all for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Richard and Tracy Mosier. Richard, let me kiss your bride. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>